Corporate Affairs Minister Sachin Pilot. The company's bill 2012 has been passed in the Rajya Sabha. Now it needs the assent of the President and it will become an act. The company's act of 2012 with me is Corporate Affairs Minister Sachin Pilot. Sir, welcome to Doodarshan News and congratulations. So your first reactions, uh, a battle one? It wasn't a battle. It's certainly an effort that all of us put in. This bill has been in the uh, in the parliament arena for about almost a decade. And I'm quite happy that after all this effort, this bill has now finally uh, on its way to becoming law. Uh, I think it's a very forward-looking bill. It's, uh, it's a reformist bill. It will, I think, to my mind, give a lot of confidence and a lot of boost to the Indian economy, to our corporate world. It will bring about a new era in the Indian economy. So, uh, what are the key points in this uh, bill, which, it's, which it's, it separates from the previous Companies Act of 1956? Well, like you said, the previous act dates back to 56. Now, uh, six decades have passed. India has changed. Our economy has changed. Uh, the concept of uh, e-commerce didn't exist. There was no mobile telephony, no internet. All those business practices have changed, and we have got to realign ourselves to what's happening around the world. This bill will uh, pave the way for Indian companies to be able to. Uh, work in a, in a global format. Uh, we have introduced the concept of CSR, where certain profitable companies which have a certain turnover will, uh, will be able to do CSR and 2% of their profits will go into uh, development of the communities and schools and hospitals and roads, whatever they want to do. This is not a cess, it's not a tax, mm -hmm. it doesn't come to the government of India or to the state governments. This money is used by the companies to do the work that they feel is important in terms of CSR. So talking about CSR only, how will it help in uh, more inclusive development? Well, it's important. I think corporates and companies that are making uh, revenues and are making profits in India certainly are paying taxes. But as a responsible corporate citizen, mm -hmm. uh, every one of these companies must contribute. And I think this is the percentage was derived after much discussion with all stakeholders. 2% of their money of the net profits has to be ploughed back and we have left it very open. Mm -hmm. There is no inspectoraj, there is no levy, there is no oversight by the mm -hmm. government. We've mm -hmm. said it that you have to do self-disclosure, self-reporting on mm -hmm. your websites mm -hmm. as to what work you're doing. You can open a school, you can open a hospital, make a road, plant a tree, save the environment, uh, wildlife, whatever you want to do as long as you disclose it. Mm -hmm. And the board on the uh, committee, the CSR committee, has to approve the project. It mm -hmm. should be timeline driven, it should help the area. And I say this often times because companies do a lot of sponsorships. Mm -hmm. That's for commercial value. Mm -hmm. You know, you get eyeballs, you get people to see your company. But this CSR will mm -hmm. endear the companies in the communities in which they're working. So how will this bill uh, will uh, prevent frauds and especially bring more corporate transparency and corporate governance? The mainstay of this bill is good corporate governance. Mm -hmm. The top management, the board, they have to act responsibly. They have to protect the rights of shareholders. Uh, you've We've also got uh, a lot of strength to protect fraud. You see, once fraud happens and a scandal breaks out, people have run away with the money and the investors lose out. We've got to be able to detect fraud before it happens. Mm -hmm. So we, we're using technology to be able to detect that. We are now putting more independent directors on the board. Mm -hmm. And we've made uh, a provision that a company of a certain turnover has to mandatorily have at least one woman uh, on his board. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are most, more transparency, more disclosures. Uh, um, more using of technology, uh, more innovative ideas, one person company concept. So all the artisans, weavers, craftsmen who are working individually now will get all the benefits of being a corporate entity without having to do all the regulation and filing that a company has to do. It will give a lot of help to our you know, small weavers, entrepreneurs and, and, and art, artisans and craftsmen who can get the benefits of being a company now. So my next question is, uh, corporate governance is good, fighting fraud good, but how will it help in better uh, ease of doing business in the country? Well, that's very important. I think this bill will also give the message to the uh, community, not just in India, but overseas, that India, by the way, still remains the second fastest growing economy mm -hmm. of its size. Mm -hmm. So we want to remain a place of destination for investments, mm -hmm. uh, not just foreign, but Indian uh, investments. So you think this uh, bill, when it becomes an act, will be a, a major game changer for the corporate sector? I'm, I'm fully confident that this is going to give real impetus and real push in the corporate sector. It will give a sense of... Uh, energization in our economy, mm -hmm. it will give confidence to the investing community, it will give sense of security to the shareholders, mm -hmm. it will give a lot of boost to our economic mm -hmm. progress. And India, I think in the next 6 to 12 months, you will see mm -hmm. a huge change in the sentiments uh, regarding the in, uh, investment climate. Thank you so much. So that was the Corporate Affairs Minister talking exclusively to Doordarshan News, saying that the company's bill of 2012 will be a game changer. With camera person Gopal, this is Sibal, DD News, New Delhi.